Back, but now hits to work. The speeds are in. Fire right on. Rebound left in front of the net. It's Kibaranta. Rope hints. Makes a move. Takes the shot. Knocked down. Blocked. And now Gurianov to the line. GB Alexiak across for Sekera. Dallas changing. Alexiak moves in. And a big game winning goal against Calgary. Hands it off to Sekera. Kibaranta parked in front. Looking for root, scores! Patrick goal for Kimaranta! And he sends Dallas to the Western Conference Final! What a performance by Yoel Kibaranta. Comes into the game due to the injury to Andrew Cogliano and doesn't just step into the game. Scores three goals. And the hat trick goal is the overtime winner in game number seven. Just a terrific performance by him. They go to work behind the net. He gets himself to the slot. And the Dallas Stars, down in this game three times, continue to battle back and eventually win it in overtime. Heartbreaking loss for the Avalanche and a Dallas team that was beaten in overtime last year in game seven in round two has got over a huge hump here and claims a spot in the Western Conference Final. And Rick Bonus out there on the ice 28 years ago with the Boston Bruins in 1992. He went to the third round of the Stanley Cup playoffs as a head coach and now is going to go there again with this Dallas Stars team. A great story for him. The longtime coach is pretty animated and happy now. Some stressful situations throughout these playoffs in this series. But his team comes up big in this one in overtime. So many unlikely stories in the Stanley Cup playoffs and Yoel Kibaranta, who had never scored a playoff goal, gets three in game seven. And Nathan McKinnon held off the score sheet for the first time in the entire Stanley Cup playoffs. He is headed home with the Avalanche. I'll well, say a lot of respect shown in this handshake right now as Klingberg and McCarr right there, two excellent defensemen going head to head this whole series. But this is what the battle comes down to. And afterwards, you look across and say, you know what? You gave it your all. We were matching that. And what a series this was between these two teams. Looks like the Avalanche were going to advance when they took the lead with three minutes and 40 seconds to go, but Dallas had a reply 10 seconds later. And what will be a memorable game seven. If you're a neutral party or a Dallas Stars fan, one that's going to be hard to digest for the Colorado Avalanche.